right, we're in 5-2, we're solving right triangles. So we're going to find B and C, and we know that A is 4, so this bottom side is 4, and this angle down here is 27. Um, so let's go ahead and solve. Um, I think I'll do B first. So I notice tangent of 27. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, would be B over 4. We can multiply by 4. So B is for tangent 27 degrees. And so this is technically the exact answer. Um, we'll go ahead and estimate it with a calculator since it's not on the unit circle. Um, anything on the unit circle, we're not going to use the calculator because the calculator doesn't give us exact answers. It rounds those answers. So any calculator will do. Um, your iPhone calculator, turn it sideways. There's tons of free apps. You don't need anything fancy. Um, but make sure your calculator is in degrees. Uh, so this might be under mode. Um, you might see a button that says like R and D or something for radians and degrees, depending on your calculator. Um, if you have one like this, it's under mode. There's like radian and degrees. So I'm just going to type 4 tangent of 27, and we get 2.038. So this is considered an estimate because we had to round. This is no longer an exact answer. All right, let's check out how to find C. Um, I think I'll do cosine since I have adjacent and hypotenuse. So cosine of 27 will be adjacent, 4 over C. We'll multiply by C. And then we can divide by cosine of 27. So make sure we don't write cosine tangent. I've been seeing this a lot. This has no meaning, right? If, would you write a square root by itself, right? Something has to be inside of it. So it might be theta, it might be a number, but it just doesn't make sense without something in it. So this is cosine of 27, and then we'll just use the calculator again to estimate. So four divided by cosine of 27, oops. And we get I'll use my squiggly lines to say we rounded. 4.489, just a couple decimal places. And again, this is an estimate um, because we had to round. All right, should we try one final triangle? Um, it's actually two triangles. So let's find X, um, which is not really part of a right triangle. So I'm gonna make two right triangles. So I'm gonna start with the smaller right triangle. So that would be 20 degrees, 140, and we have a right angle, and maybe I'll call this A. And then we have a bigger right triangle. So we still have 140. Um, this angle is unknown because 20 is only partially, um, but this angle is 58. And then this is an X, maybe we'll call this B. And then X we'll come back to. So let's just find A and B, and then we'll come back to X. So I like if I find if I see multiple triangles, I like to draw them separately. I think that helps. So let's see. My angle's here, so 20. A would be opposite because it's the opposite side. Um, and 140 would be adjacent. So we can use tangent for TOA. So tangent of 20 would be A over 140, opposite over adjacent. So A will be 140 tangent of 20. So again, 20 is not on our unit circle, so we'll approximate. So A is about 50, 
0.96 or 9.56 since I did three decimal places on the other ones. So only as a calculator when it's not on the unit circle. All right, let's try, let's finish this up. So then let's find B. So here's my 58, so 140 is opposite and B is adjacent because I'm using this angle now. So make sure you think about opposite with respect to the angle that you're looking at. So tangent of 58 will be 140 over B. So B, we can kind of cross multiply or we can multiply and then divide, but we'll get B is 140 over tangent 58. One forty divided by tangent of fifty eight, and we get B is eighty seven point four eight two. So let's label this. So this little piece right here was from here to here was forty point nine fifty. Sorry. 50.956, and then we found out the whole distance was 87.482. So x would just be the difference between the two, so that's why we found both of those. So pictures are super helpful here. So x will just be 87.482 minus 50.956. So we can't use um, sine, cosine, or tangent to find x immediately because x is not, that's not a right angle, right? So we had to use tangent for the other two triangles because those had right angles and then we can use subtraction to find x. And x will be 36.526. And that is section 5.1, solving right triangles. And so we'll continue to use this through some more sections. So make sure you know Sokotoa at the end of this.